headed by the Lord Mayor and Corporation of Dublin, leaders of Gaelic culture march in procession to Dublin Pro Cathedral to celebrate the opening of the 1952 Eroctus. Sean O'Kelly, President of the Republic, is today as ever among his people as he enters the cathedral through the presbytery door. They that wait know that by his presence at the ceremony, the President has once more confirmed the power for good, which this annual reaffirmation of cultural ideals, blessed as it is by the Papal Nuncio, bestows upon the people of Era. To the audience at the Mansion House, the Chief Archdruid brings greetings from Wales, a gesture which deeply moves Mrs. O'Kelly and Mrs. de Valera, as does also the presence of the Reverend Gilathan, fraternal delegate from Scotland, for in the world of Gaelic culture, Ireland does not stand alone. What a tale of achievement Sean Hui and his audience have come to hear. Excitement mounts behind the microphone as delegate after delegate speaks in a language which was half forgotten in 1897 when the first Eroctus was held. And now from the platform, the full richness of Irish music can be heard. Where half a century ago there was music for not more than one full day's enjoyment, now there are performers enough for a whole week's delight. And none more highly appreciated by the audience than the Belfast Mixed Voice Choir in whose name Miss Kay McDermott receives a well-merited first prize. <laughs> 